Good morning, little generators. This is Mr. Joe, and I will be giving the lesson today. I hope you and your family are well. And guess what? As things slowly go back to normal, we might be together again soon. Isn't that just totally awesome? But on a, another note, COVID-19 is still real out there. So I want you to continue to pray with your family for the healing, not only for the virus, but for all sickness and most importantly comfort because there's still a lot of people out there that are so confused and scared and don't have the help they need. And while you are praying, thank God for your blessings. That is so important because we are blessed. All right. We are blessed because why? We put our faith and trust in Jesus that he is going to guide us heal us, protect us, comfort us, and take care of us because he loves us so much. And one word, faith, because of that, Jesus does miraculous things for us. And that's what our stories have been about. So I'm going to give you a little recap. We've been studying through the Gospels, which are the first four books of the New Testament. And they are stories about the life of Jesus from his birth to his death. Jesus went around doing all his preaching, performing miracles, healing, and he showed his love and shows us how to love. Isn't that just totally awesome? So our story today is going to be about Jesus healing a woman and a girl. Okay, this is going to take place in the book of Mark, chapter 5, 21 through 43. So remember faith, the word faith. Faith is to believe and trust in God. And through faith, God heals, he protects, he comforts, he provides, he guides us, and he loves us. Okay? Faith is trusting in God. Okay, so I'm going to be reading out of my Bible, Mark chapter 5, 21 through 43. Jesus raises a dead girl and heals a sick woman. When Jesus had again crossed over by boat to the other side of the lake, a large crowd gathered around him while he was by the lake. Then one of the synagogue leaders named Jairus came, and when he saw Jesus, he fell at his feet. He pleaded with him, My little daughter is dying. Please come put your hands on her so that she will be healed and live. So Jesus went with him. A large crowd followed and pressed around him. And a woman was there who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years. So she had suffered a great deal under care of many doctors and had spent all she had. Yet, instead of getting better, she grew worse. When she learned about Jesus, she came behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak. Because she thought, if I just touched his clothes, I would be healed. Immediately, her bleeding stopped and she felt in her body that she was freed from her suffering. At once, Jesus realized that power had gone out of him. So he turned around in the crowd and asked, who touched my clothes? You see the people crowding against you, his disciple answered. And yet you can ask, who touched me? But Jesus kept looking around to see who done it. Then the woman, knowing what had happened to her, came and fell at his feet and trembling with fear, told him the whole truth. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be free from, from your suffering. While Jesus was still speaking, some people came from the house of Jairus, the synagogue leader, and said, Your daughter is dead. They said, why bother the teacher anymore? Overhearing what they said, Jesus told him, don't be afraid, just believe. He did not let anyone follow him except Peter, James, and John, and the brothers of James. I'm sorry, John was the brother of James. And when they came to the home of the synagogue leader, Jesus saw a commotion. People were crying loudly. He went in and said to them, Why all the commotion and why are you crying? The child is not dead but asleep. But they laughed at him. And after he put 
them all out, he took the child's father and mother and the disciples who were with him and went in where the child was. He took her by the hand and said to her, Little girl, I say to you, get up. Immediately the girl stood up and began to walk around. She was just 12 years old. And at this, they were completely astonished. They could not believe what Jesus did. He gave strict orders not to let anyone know about this and told them to give her something to eat. See, there's two stories here, but they both lead to the same thing, faith. The woman had faith that she would be healed by God, and she was. And the, the Jairus had faith that Jesus could heal his daughter or bring her back from the dead, and he did. See, Jesus can do miraculous things. You know, we just have to believe and we have to trust that he can. Not only, you know, miraculous healings like bringing someone from the dead or, you know, taking away our diseases. He can do it all. He can do it all. Any struggles that we go through in life. So it's important that you do trust in Jesus. Talk to your parents about struggles you are going through so that they can teach you more about that and how to deal with those struggles okay remember that if you don't put your faith in jesus there is little hope for healing so with that said i want you to um, continue to study read your bible um, ask your parents about this story in particular because there's some areas there that are a little confusing that you may not understand so maybe they can help you to understand a little bit more with more time um, and just continue to help each other love each other try to do the best you can and gosh it just can be so awesome when we can get together because it's so difficult to just try to really get in, so involved in teaching you this way i mean it just comes so much better when we're all together because it's so much fun and we get so much more out of it love you guys and just continue to have faith in Jesus because Jesus is the almighty and powerful and he can do anything and help us in any way that we need his help. Love you guys. Have a, Continue to have a good time off. Um, and of course, the rest of your weekend. See you soon. Love you.